Hello and welcome. Do you wanna know how to save a few bucks in your kitchen without much effort? Just follow this video, I'll show you how. So, you'll need one of two things. Either you choose a chef's knife or equivalent or a cutlass. So, this is our bird for tonight. We have a, a chicken here, let's take it out of the, the package. Okay. And what you what you what you want to do is really using the least amount using the least amount of cuts to be able to have your bird separated into small pieces or cut into small pieces. So what's the advantage of having the bird? Of buying the the bird whole you can really decide whatever you want to do with the with the chicken maybe you want to roast it the whole in, in the oven maybe you want to cut it in pieces maybe you want half of the, the chicken to do something else I mean it's up it's really up to you and you have total freedom to decide what, what kind of dish uh, you will be preparing okay another big advantage is it it's a lot cheaper buying the the poultry like this okay or buying the in this case the chicken like this this is a, a small chicken so it will be r relatively easy to to cut and uh, what you'll be doing before anything else and before cutting uh, as you've seen before You'll be choosing a, a chef's knife or a cutlass and make sure your blade is very, very sharp, okay? Why did I choose a chef's knife or a cutlass? Because to, to perform the, the cuts on a, on a bird, you want to have a, a heavy blade, okay? You don't, you don't want to, to be using excessive force or, or having all the work done with your arm. So if the blade has some weight, uh, it will make your task a lot easier uh, so heavy blade sharp blade okay another thing that will make your job a lot easier is to look at your bird before starting to cut okay so as with every animal birds have joints okay in the bones between the bones so first just try to identify where the joints are well with, with the wings it's really easy to identify where the bones join one another okay so you have one two joints three joints okay and for the legs one joint joint here another one here and another one here okay where the leg where the leg joins the, the lower body and one very important joint that will be will be very useful is this one okay can you see it okay this joint here very useful to to cut the bird okay usually i start with the legs okay so like this I'll be taking my knife and start by separating the lower part of the leg from the rest, okay? As you can see, you can help with your hand, just look. This joint here is already separated from the rest of the body, okay? So we'll be doing the same on this side, okay? Cut, separate, just break. Okay, with your hand and okay just cut like this cut like this so as you can see the leg is almost separated from the body you just need to do this okay this cut here and around here the same thing so you have two legs not in the body anymore okay let's do the wings okay. 
Now remember, look for the joint before you cut, because it 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 makes your job very 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 easy. Okay, very easy indeed. Okay. Now for the the last part, but before I do not know if you like to use the the skin of the chicken. Well, maybe for some dishes you you do. I mean, if you are going to to grill the the chicken, you probably want to to keep the skin. But right now I have no plans to to use this, the skin, so I, I'm going to take it out. Okay. Okay. Try to keep the skin in one piece because it's a lot easier to pull. See? And cut when you need some help for the skin to, to keep following your movement. Okay. As you can see, I'm not doing almost any strength at all okay at all so it's very straightforward okay. another thing whenever you feel the need uh, stop and wash your hands I, I do that a lot okay uh, it helps avoiding accidents uh, due to grease and fat making your hands slippery uh, in the knife okay so this is the 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 joint we, we were talking about you just place your knife here and cut like this okay looking looking good i'm going to take the skin out of the legs okay just like this Now, as you can see, our chicken is almost done. So, right now, we'll be finishing the job. So, again, look for the joints of the bird. Okay. See? Okay. So, there you have it. So I'm putting the pieces of chicken. No, just look how easy it was to have. Okay. The lower part of the chest, just like this. Very, very clean indeed, just clean meat, okay? Well, do the same thing. do the same thing for the wings. Okay, can we just give it a, a bunch? Okay. All right. Okay. So this part here, you just you can put it whole. Or you can okay. yeah, just leave it like that. Okay. Now for the last part, the upper top part or upper part of the the chest, 
the rib cage, okay, of the chicken. You can do like this. Find the the, the point where the the muscle from the chest joins the ribs, okay, and just go like this, okay. Now just. All right. Okay. No fuss. Very, very easy. Well, I'm doing this slowly for you to see. Usually, you can go a lot faster, and and in a couple of seconds, you can have your chicken all ready to to go. Okay. All right. And here it is, all done. If you're having trouble or if you'd like to see this in the usual speed, just drop me a line in the comment section below. And see you next time.